Howdy, everybody. It's me, Jack Manhire. And for those of you who like more than just the tax law news that we bring to you almost daily on Deep in the Heart of Taxes, I wanted to give you uh, this uh, Deep in the Heart of Taxes outtake that is a little bit more perhaps entertaining, what some might even call comedy. So uh, take a listen. It's only a few minutes, and then I'll be back and tell you more about it. The Congressional Budget Office issued a report this week that net net says that the IRS needs to start doing more enforced collecting. Uh, it, the title of it is trends in the internal revenue services funding and enforcement. It essentially says that there would be more funding for the agency if they were to go out and be more aggressive in assessing and collecting undue, um, I'm sorry, overdue taxes or unpaid taxes it references the the tax gap, which, at least as according to my calculations, always seems to remain about the same. Um, and it says that if the IRS goes out and starts assessing more, doing more audits, starts knocking on doors, they will get more dollars. And this is their, in my opinion, rather simplistic way of saying that's the way to close the tax gap. And it's the way to get more money for, for the IRS. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. Hold on. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm recording. I'm, re I'm casting here. I'm casting here. Don't, I'm sorry, Jack. Can we, uh, no, no, go, 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 no, come on in. Come on in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on in. Like, yeah. No, Harry, have a seat. Have a seat. I didn't want to make, no, come on in. Come on. Um, so, folks, I have, um, I, I, sorry about that. Um, I'm, I'm running a little bit late today and I have, uh, two friends that came by to see me at the same time. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but, but, but one, but one of them actually is very, very much related to the, uh, the podcast here. You might know her. She's very, very famous, uh, attorney, Carrie Hawks, uh, Carrie, thank, thanks for coming by here. Let me get, let me get your mic. There you go. So, um, yeah, attorney Carrie Hawks, Jack is, uh, thank you very much. Um, hi everybody. Good to see you. Yes. Um, and also Dr. Tyler Kyle, uh, Dr. Kyle here. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, um, so Carrie, uh, and Dr. Kyle, uh, just give me a second. I'm just finishing up the, um, the discussion about the CBO's report. That That's fine, Jack, but don't you think you should, um, I'm sorry for saying this, but, um, if we're going to be talking about me on, on the air, well, well, we're not really on the air. This is just a, a podcast. It's going to drop, uh, you know, when it, when, when it drops. Okay. But, um, Perhaps we should give my full bona fides. Your your what? My bona fides. You know my credentials. Well, um, I I think everybody pretty much knows who you are and what you've done. I mean, you've done some trailblazing work here. Well, yes, but not everybody knows everything I've done, do they? Well, uh, maybe they don't carry. But I'm really sorry. I I don't have your bona fides. Um, in, in, in front of me, I wasn't expecting to do this. <sighs> Jack, it's just another example of how disappointed I am with you. Just, that's fine. Just keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. Uh, I didn't expect that. And, and folks, I'm sorry that, that you had to, to hear that. What do you mean you're sorry? I mean, I'm sorry they had to hear that. They were, I wasn't expecting you to come in and start criticizing me about not knowing your, your bona fides and stuff like that. Well, that's fine. Now, now Jack, I'm, I, I apologize. Excuse me, Miss, for, for interrupting real fast. But um, well, why don't we just let Jack finish his finish the the, the the podcast that he's doing, okay? And then let him go on. We, we'll we'll, we'll get, get catch up with him later. Thanks, Doctor Kyle. I appreciate it. Yeah, sure, Doctor Kyle. Doctor Kyle. Um, I'm not sure why I have to be called Carrie and he has to be called Doctor Kyle. Well, I mean, he's a he's a doctor. Well, I'm a doctor too. I have a juris doctor, a doctor of jurisprudence. Why not call me a doctor? Well, I, I guess I could call you a doctor, but it's not really, um, we don't usually do that. Uh, but okay, D Dr. Carey. Oh, it's Dr. Carey now. Why not Dr. Hawks? Okay, fine. Try trying Dr. Hawks. Dr. Hawks and Dr. Kyle, we're both here. Okay, let me finish the podcast, please. Okay? I'm sorry. C continue, son. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said, go ahead. What are you waiting for? No, I, fine. Okay. The CBO issued a report this week 
that said the IRS would get more funding by enforcing, uh, taking more. Uh, see, I'm all thrown off now. Well, I'm sorry if you're not prepared for certain interruptions and things in life that might go wrong. No. Uh, all right. The CBO issued a report that said the IRS should engage in more enforced collections and it should get more money by the through the enforced collections. There, was that so hard? Oh, gosh. All right. So the uh, CBO issues this report. Uh, Jack, I, I, have, I, have one, I have one observation I want to make. Yeah, go ahead, Dr. Kyle. What is that? I, I've noticed a lot more advertising for the CBO uh, since, uh, I'd say, in the last year or so. Have you noticed that, too? I'm uh, for advertise, advertising for the CBO. For the CBO, really? Yeah, there's a lot, lot more signs as I'm driving up and down the highways for the CBO. The, the, the really, I didn't know that they advertised. Yeah, they you know the, the CBO oil that they put on. They have a little a marijuana leaf next to it for some reason. I don't, I don't know. But the CBO oil, I didn't realize that they also had to do with taxes. Oh, good gravy! He means CBD oil, Jack. Oh, oh, CB. No, this is not CBD but oil. This is C. Uh, this is a CBO, the Congressional Budget Office. My God, Doctor Kyle, what are you a doctor of anyway? Oh, I'm, I'm, um, excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. I made I made that mistake. I happen to be a pro professor of Czechoslovakian cinema. Czechoslovakian cinema. Really, I didn't know that Czechoslovakian cinema was a thing. Oh, Jack, I'm sure it's made up. Excuse me, madam, it is not made up. Czechoslovakian cinema is a very rarefied area of study. Oh, I'm absolutely sure it's rarefied. You do realize that Czechoslovakia doesn't exist anymore, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, though, it's two countries now. It's the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Well, of course, madam, that's why it's so rarefied. Very few people study cinema during this particular time of the country's history. Oh, Jew. Oh geez, are these your friends, Jack? Is this who you hang out with now? Yeah, well, I, yes, they're my they're my they're my friends, Carrie. I don't know why you have to embarrass me like this. Oh, I'm embarrassing you. I'm the one who's embarrassed. I came on here. You're doing some type of show, whatever. There's probably two listeners out there. I'm the one that's going to be embarrassed in front of just those two listeners for even being here. Well, I mean, you don't have to be here if you don't want to. You know, you can leave. Oh, I will leave. I will leave. I just wanted to know what Dr. Kyle's expertise was and what he was bringing to this particular broadcast. Well, he's not supposed to bring anything to the to the broadcast or to the podcast, okay? Uh, neither are you, for that matter. You just happen to walk in on here. Well, Jack, I can just walk out just as easily. Well, madam, I think that you might want to do that because it's getting very tense in here. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. I can't take you anymore. Madam, I... I don't know what your problem is. It might be that you've got that mask on. No, my problem is that you don't have a mask on. Really? Yes. Why aren't you wearing a mask? I might be catching your infectious germs right now. No, come on. Let's just stop this right now. Madam, I am not at all infectious. In fact, I am offended that you are wearing the mask. Oh, really? You're offended that I'm wearing a mask? Oh, yes, I am. And why is that, sir? Well, because you are just perpetuating the narrative of fear. You're perpetuating the the narrative that there is something to be infected. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's called a pandemic. Oh, you mean a plandemic, maybe? Okay, okay, let's let's stop stop right now. Actually, um, Carrie, and um, sorry, Tyler and Carrie. I'll use your first names. Fine. Can you please just go outside and wait for me, and I'll be I'll be done momentarily. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jack. We can just do that. I'm glad to leave, Jack. I can't believe that I'm even doing this. Just please, please, just wait, just wait, just wait outside, please. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that, folks. So the CBO issues this report that the IRS should be collecting more. I guess that's that's all I have to say about that. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, my wife, to her credit, thought that it might be too radical to include that on a regular Deep in the Heart of Taxes podcast, uh, because some people might not realize that the part of Jack Manhire was played by me. Jack Manhire, the part of Carrie Hawks, was played by me. Jack Manhire and the part of Dr. Tyler Kyle was played by me, Jack Manhire. So I hope to have some more of these outtakes for you every once in a while, just to uh, mix it up a little bit, add some humor, 
and add something interesting to your listening. I hope you do enjoy the tax law news that I bring you so that you can um, can consume that in, in, a, in an audible way at your convenience. Uh, but I will also um, bring these outtakes to you every once in a while. So look for more Deep in the Heart of Taxes on an almost daily basis. And uh, thank you very much for listening and thank you for your support. Take care.